So I want to make a quick video about gardening and uh, you know I always hear about these retired people that they, they're bored, they got nothing to do, they go back to work. It seems like all I do is work, 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 because I guess I'm learning about new things, right? And uh, you know at some point I want to turn this into some sort of um, a garden, uh, maybe a potted garden uh, with some plants growing here because they'll grow great in my bird cage. And we're going to talk about why that would be important, but I want to show you failure, okay? Because failure leads to greater success later on in life, and these are lessons that you have to learn. But look at here, you see how the uh, the bugs are eating the leaves on that plant? And we're going to get uh, to where I'm, I'm failing. Somehow, we've had some high winds, uh, got a limb broken off on my pepper plant here. Uh, this guy's doing good, um, but I tell you what I learned, you don't buy these racks. It's a waste of money. Now, they're good for the pepper plant, so I didn't waste my money completely. And uh, if I could take that rack off of the tomato plant, I would. Now, what we're, what we're going to do eventually is I'm going to build a trellis across the top here. And, uh, and then we'll stake out the, these tomato plants. But I want you to look at this nightmare. Uh, so this tomato plant, um, it broke off. I was going to use this tubing right here to try to stake it up. But until I get that trellis, uh, there's really not a lot I can do. Now you can see my plants are doing good. We've got a zucchini plant here uh, that's coming along. I'm learning. I'm learning as I go. Uh, and this is um, some collard greens. Uh, they're doing fantastic. I'm, I'm very happy with that. Uh, and of course, you know, the water barrel. I've talked about this in the past. Uh, but geez, I mean, look at this. So now here's... One thing, I'm going to put a link in this video below. This is a cucumber plant. Now, he's just a little guy right now, but, but I should have planted, I could have planted three of them right here. And what you do is you build an A-frame. Uh, there's various ways that you can, because these are climbing plants. And uh, there's no reason, because that's in the past, I was so stupid. I would just let them grow along the ground, and then the, the fruit would rot, or something would eat the fruit, or the cucumbers, before I could get to them. So, uh, so I've got a plan for that, and I'll just show you the end result, and I'm going to put a link in this video below on, well, there's, there's various ways that you can have these cucumber plants grow vertically. Uh, I just wish, well, I could still put one behind it. I might, I might do that. It's just, uh, hell, I'm not doing a good job of taking care of what I got. <laughs> it's just a lot of work. This is a blueberry, uh, I mean a blackberry uh, bush. See, it's doing pretty good. The wind's whipping pretty hard. I hope that uh, uh, this is going to be a squash plant. Uh, it's doing good. And once again, another vertical trellis is going to go along that guy off to the side. You can see I still need to mulch the soil. And this is, uh, this is a work in progress. Uh, this section here, I'm trying to, I'm, I want to grow some pineapple. But you see all these roots and everything? This used to be, this fence got replaced. And I had vines all along the fence uh, to make this look like a natural area. Well, with the new fence, the vines are gone, and it's more important for me now to grow vegetables than it is to uh, to put... Well, the, the community has said they're not, they don't want the vines on the fence because it rots the fence out. So anyway, so I've got to dig all this out, and I'm replacing this the sandy soil. Well, you can see I've got some good soil right here. So it's kind of it's hard... To figure out what's good soil and what's bad but now all these roots have to come down you got to go down about a foot uh, if you're going to dig in now i could have a raised bed right here but i don't want to do that um so uh i'm just kind of showing you my failures now so someday i'm going to show you the trellis and if you watch youtube videos i'm not going to get into how to how to do it uh there's all kinds of videos uh, and there's all the one that i like the best i would love to do is this guy bought uh, the wire a wire cage is for cement and he brought it up and just bent it into an arc and brought it back down and that would be great for staking up these tomato plants but look look at look at how the bugs have eaten this now what I found out is you got to spray um, soapy water on here but every time it rains it washes that soapy water off and then the bugs come back and they're eating the hell out of my plants and while well, you can see how this uh, trellis or this uh, cage didn't work out real well so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to try to get this stake in the ground uh, next to that plant. And then I've got a bunch of twist ties uh, that I'll show you in the next clip. So let's get down here to the other half of the garden. 
Uh, this is the soil that I'm going to be replacing that sandy soil. That's that's another thing. You got to have good soil to grow your plants in. And uh, so I had two huge palm trees right here, and I had my yard crew come in, and they took them out for me. Uh, so this, but you can see that soil. See, this is not this soil. You're not going to be able to grow vegetables in. And see all the the, the building the concrete. I've got to dig this down. And I'm going to be replacing that with the black soil. I've also got the potting mix here, the black cow. Uh, this is a huge, huge project. And uh, so, uh, and then of course, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, because you got to have the community, you know, they can kind of see up in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some wood right along here to divide this. And I'm hoping, you can see the, the young plants here. I'm hoping this is going to fill in, and boy, I couldn't tell you what this is. I got to, I'm going to have to go. I might buy a couple more of these plants, but I tell you what, they in the in years past before the nightmare of the fence uh, uh, tore everything up and taken out these plants, this whole area would grow in just into this green forest of these plants right here, and it was beautiful. And so I do want some natural plants, not just gardening. So we're 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 into a huge project. So what I'm trying to tell you is uh, these are all things that will make you feel good about the coming apocalypse and I'll be making a video about that uh, especially here in the United States that we're about to experience uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be bad folks you're looking at the Great Depression on steroids and I hope you're getting ready and I'm gonna talk about uh, the things that I've been been doing and uh, well the garden is this is this is the number one project and now you can't tell See that sandy soil back there? Underneath here, I dug this out down about a foot. This is all black dirt. That's why these plants are doing so great. And uh, and, and that's why that cucumber plant's gonna be awesome. And I took that dirt all the way back to the fence. So we'll see, and these are of course blueberry bushes. Uh, that'll be a, a year or so from now, assuming I'm still alive. After breaking my neck, I'm, I'm always shocked. And these are the, uh, check them out. They almost died on me. And I, uh, but it looks like they're coming back. These are the pineapple plants that I'm going to be planting right there. And then this is a basil plant. And by the way, basil, I see how the bugs have been eating on it. Got to put some soap on that. Uh, basil keeps the bugs off of the, uh, or the worms off of the tomato plants because they don't like the smell of it. But you see how this guy is outgrowing the cage? So that's why I got to put that trestle up. But for now, we're just going to put the stick in the ground. All right, peace out, stay free. That's it for the gardening. Uh, I, I, You can see I'm a complete idiot. I'm learning as I go. I keep watching YouTube videos. Learn from people, not me. You don't want to learn from me. I just want to show you what you as the happy homeowner can start doing. Uh, not only to keep your sanity as the world uh, uh, disintegrates. I call it watching the world burn. As you watch the world burn, all you can do is what you can do. Peace out. Stay free. And it's good, 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 good to live in the free, free, free Republican state of Florida and the great leadership of Governor DeSanctimonious. All right. So I wanted to show the most ridiculous <laughs> staking out of a tomato plant you're ever going to see in your lifetime. This is called tomato yarn, by the way. You can buy this at Amazon. And you see these little plastic clips that I used. Uh, they're a lot better than just having that twine against the plant. Uh, which of course, yeah, you can see the twine's kind of against the plant right here, but I got the clip right there. Uh, and you might say, well, why didn't I cut that stake? Uh, well, number one, I'm not sure the plant <laughs> it might get that high. You never know. And I, uh, I drove that stake into the ground as best I could. Um, and what I wanted to show you, uh, it's something I've been learning, and uh, and I've I've screwed up. Uh, you see this right here? This is called a sucker. Now I could break this one off because it's little. All right, but uh, I wanted to show you a couple that I haven't, that I think, I'm not sure if it would damage the plant if I broke them off. Uh, let's see if we see another one. See that one right there? There's a little one. Got that one. Here's another little one. Got that one, but here's one. See right here? Now this, uh, because the tomato plant blew over, it broke off right there. And I'm hoping the sucker's gonna come in and uh, maybe you gotta give me some fruit. So I'm just going to leave that one there. That's not a good example. All right, well, I showed you the big one right there. Now, see, this one, this is kind of a sucker here. Uh, but I tell you, as much as this has been eaten by the bugs, I think that this leaving a sucker. Uh, here's one. Let's break that off. Uh, here's another one. Break that off. 
Uh, but anyway, so all I did was I used this tomato yarn with those clips and I got it in there as best I could. Now I couldn't take the rack out without damaging the plant. Now, you can see the rack's all bent, it blew over and everything and I'm surprised it didn't snap the tomato plant at the bottom. But uh, anyway, uh, so the, you can see this guy. See how the rack, I mean I pushed that rack way down into the ground. I gotta, I gotta get that trevis up and once we do that, and that's why I didn't cut this because I'm gonna be using that in the trevis. All right, peace out, stay free. And by the way, you can buy these tomato clips by the hundreds at uh, Amazon, uh, they do break easily, I will tell you that, but they are great. So you just got to be real careful. Now, it took me a while because <laughs> uh, I uh, didn't keep up with the plant as it was growing and I didn't have the proper uh, stuff. All right, peace out. Stay free. Good, good, good.